Hello everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of Madison not being an aesthetic. I used this blanket to cover up my TV and it looks like we're in a 2008 beauty guru video. But that's a good vibe these days. I mean with everything going on in the beauty community, it's a, it's a vibe that we all need. We may not want it, but we need it. We need the zebra print backgrounds. We need the sparkly backgrounds. We need it. <coughs> so today I'm going to be painting some vines because I was so inspired by everyone's Bob Ross videos that I thought I'd just take it a step further and make it even more deep and meaningful to us. Gen Z and Millennials. <laughs> you know, half the time people are like, no, you're a Millennial. And the other half, they're like, no, no, no. You're a Gen Z. I'm just like on the brink. So like I'm down with like the kids, 12 year olds. I'm still down with them. And I also have a really old soul. So like I'm just the best, honestly. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm sick. <laughs> Speaking of this, I got sick after I left Hangout, which I went to last weekend, and uh, there were a lot of people. You want to see my arm? <laughs> the sun was like, sis. <laughs> Too bad. You know, <clears throat> there's a burn. And it's been peeling, so you can see it's still kind of peeling. Okay, there's the... <clears throat> That's how my life is going. Me doesn't tan for two years and then goes out in the sun for one day and this happens. No one gives a crap that you want your skin to look good when you're 50. No one gives a crap, okay? Is this blurry or is it just me? Am I losing my eyesight? This is the universe being like... Sis, you don't need glasses. Why do you wear those blue light glasses at unnecessary times just to look cute? But it was fun other than like getting burned even though I wore literal SPF 70. <laughs> I wore SPF 70. <laughs> and also the first day I went to see Travis Scott who was looking back on it the the prime like part of the entire thing that's who everyone wanted to see i know a couple songs like sick of it, uh, and like don't you open it up that window yeah yeah don't you let it let you know, I could get down to those songs, but that's pretty much it. And I ended up very close to the front. You might think a One Direction concert's bad. Try going to a One Direction concert, but half the people are six foot or over guys, shirtless, really sweaty. Literally pressed against you in the sand. I looked at my phone and realized that I had to wait there another two hours and I don't want to say I had a panic attack or like a anxiety attack because I don't want to just like put that label on it but it felt like it. It felt a lot like it and I haven't really had anything like that happen so I just got out of there. I sat in the very back. I'll show you a video. <laughs> all kind of a blur. I went from like pretty close to being like across the beach <laughs> and I didn't care because I could breathe. Yeah. Um, I didn't make a hangout video about it. There was just a lot going on. Maybe next year. Okay, now that I've talked for 10 minutes about not even what this video is about, let's get the canvases out and we're going to paint some vines, y'all. And I got these square ones because, you know, vines are square. Oh, it just, okay. I'm going to be selling these on my Depop, so if you'd like to buy them, just 
LMK. This is the same easel I used for my Bob Ross video. You can tell that it's not completely dry, like the oils on there. This was from... At least six months ago, probably. That's not good. If I see one comment that's like, you didn't do my favorite vine. I'm sorry. I'm not doing my favorite vines either. I'm doing the ones that look best in a painting, sis. You gotta think about the aesthetic. The aesthetic is really what's important on my channel. How would Scooby say Hobby Lobby? Robbie Robbie. These are each 75 cents and they're like 15% off. Deal. Oh. So the first vine I'm gonna paint is the bats by Sassy Princess. We might have to stay in. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. The one where she's like, look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. So we're gonna do like this screenshot for a minute. I love Halloween. Of course we need black for the freaking bats. Some red for her lips. I wonder if she doesn't like lipstick. Cause queen, queen of pigment. You know what? I should've gotten brown. <laughs> you know what? I should've gotten brown. <laughs> so we have our color palette here. <laughs> the nail. I wonder if there's a way to like get your phone to just like stay on forever. I'm gonna kind of outline. Let's outline it with this. We're gonna use a thick star. Like this is not gonna look realistic. I don't know why I'm like. some hair she's got that part she's really serving and they're gonna do her skin here's her ear no thank you i can replace my charlie brown halloween canvases with this and only the real ones will understand <laughs> only the real ones I wonder if she went to Ulta to get a wax because like sis really did that. Her eyes, they just kind of look black because she loves Halloween. Oh my gosh, no. Now we're gonna do her lips. This looks like literally that thing from the Twilight Zone. Oh no. I just wanted to get that feel of her just going. You know? She loves Halloween. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're here. This looks like one of those face mask paintbrushes with the real intellectual CDs as face mask paintbrushes. I can't even make a good thumbnail for a video. What makes me think I can paint? I'm really not dumb, I'm just sick. I mean, Ned C. Classified taught us more about life than any of our school counselors ever did. So, that's all I have to say about that on that subject. I just really want to know why that one bat is upside down. I know this is starting to look too much like a Christmas tree. <coughs> we don't love Christmas, we love Halloween. There we go. Here it is up close. Maybe if I made her face, like, not so, um, potato-ish. Oh, I love the smell of these canvases. It smells like, it smells like a children's museum I used to go to, which also smelled like chlorine water, so that's probably why it smells good, because I'm on my strange addictions for my addiction to smells that are not good for you <coughs> so next we're gonna do the iconic they were roommates line i'm going to be using this screenshot that's just the best thing ever yeah <laughs> that's just what we gotta do out here that's why we out here though and they were roommates oh my god 
god, they were roommates. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. So, now that you have the best impression ever, I'm gonna make the best painting ever. The reflection in his glasses is crazy. So, this is gonna be really colorful, really fun, really fresh. Really funny fun. Those are some sick glasses. And they have clear rims, and I don't... How do you paint clear? Really think about that one for a second. Why is this happening? Mmm. Oh my god, they were roommates, y'all. They were roommates, my... Okay, so first, I think we're gonna do the rims a white color because what's the closest color to clear? White. You can't see it, so I don't know why I'm doing this because the box light I have, even though David Dobrik has it, is not the best. <coughs> yeah, I have the same box light as David Dobrik. <laughs> whatever I got it on Amazon like three years ago wow <laughs> reflections this looks like a nightmare just in in the reflection of his glasses kind of good kind of phrase <laughs> okay tip do not paint the dark colors before the light colors because it will go everywhere you know when you're like copying a picture and you just get it a little bit off so you just start doing whatever you feel like doing that's what's happening right now see I'm not like Jenna Marbles and have a boyfriend to just like comment and make funny jokes the entire time I do this so I just have to like kind of make jokes to myself this might be TMI, but like, speaking of hangout, I had like four bottles of water, like giant bottles of water a day, and I didn't have to pee at all the entire day. When you dehydrated... I'm trying to get the scruff. This is about to fall off. That's a clean, good shave. You know what he probably shaved with? Dollar Shave Club. This video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. The Carver, sh Car Carver Shave Butter, Shea Butter, is... <coughs> and they were roommates. You know what? These could sell for a lot. I found my calling. I think I'm gonna do just one more. I think we have to do Hi, Welcome to Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. I know, been there, done that, seen that, run that. But just think about this as a painting. I'm going for it. We're gonna do it. There's a painting. It's all kind of tilted, like tilt a whirl. Kind of a really famous frame. Hope the frame didn't go to its. Head. Can you spend more time on the picture frame than the actual star of the vine? Honestly, this is the star. The star is born. Lady Gaga. She really could never be a picture frame. I was watching an interview with Zac Efron last night, don't ask. They were talking about High School Musical and he just mentioned Vanessa Hudgens' name and I almost cried. I'm putting way too much effort into the thing that doesn't matter. AKA my entire life. I'm just kind of guessing what colors are on here. You can't really tell like the actual colors because you know Vine cameras had like half a pixel. So Bob Ross said, "You devil out of that brush, man." How do you paint a mirror? There we have it. I don't know what it is, but we have it. <coughs> He's there welcoming us to Chili's. I'm making him look pretty buff, actually. You gotta add the phone. Cause I mean, that's what you make your vines on, right, ladies? I mean, he's gotta welcome us to Chili's some way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> there we have it everyone welcome to Chili's this kind of really does look like just an abstract art piece <laughs> oh my god they were roommates though I think I'm colorblind. I think I'm Logan Paul. <laughs>